I'm currently in the editing room editing videos and it's pretty much an all day affair so I'm going to be in here I would probably imagine till around about 5 or 6 p.m. I've got a lot of work to do and you don't often see me recording in the editing room purely because when I'm in here I'm busy working but I thought I'd break that mold and show you a product that I'm actually testing and it's going to appear in a review on the main Geek Noise channel very soon and also show you just up here behind me this is my geek shelf which has changed quite a lot because my interests have changed quite a lot over the past couple of years. And I started sharing with you my passion for luxury products and of course timepieces as well. So I'm gonna show you over there and also show you a couple of printers which I have already reviewed on the main channel just to give you an update on how they've been performing. Let's take a closer look. So what I'm gonna do first is give you a sneak peek at the review product that I mentioned. This is one of a pair of PreSonus Ceres C4.5 Bluetooth speakers, but they also make really good high-end studio monitors. And the other one is just hidden away around here, around the left-hand side of my Thunderbolt display. Now, this is the normal position I put my monitors in, but normally I have them either side of this display when I'm testing them. So I have one here, I move everything along a bit, and then one on the right hand side where it currently is. And that's where I have them just for doing the audio testing. But I thought I'd put them in my normal sort of speaker position, which is normally tucked away around the sides there. Not the ideal position, I know, but I'm considering changing the monitor setup here as well. I'm considering actually putting another display above the LG Ultra Wide, and that would make it a lot more uniform in its design. Not really sure what I'm doing there at the moment. But anyway, for those of you who haven't seen this before, this is the editing room, and this is where I do all of the editing for the videos that you see on this channel, the Geek and Noise channel, also on my Luxury Lifestyle channel, and also for my commercial videos as well. And whilst I'm talking about Luxury Lifestyle, this is some of the products I've been sharing with you up here. This is how this Geek shelf has changed. And I might well move these completely on the end and I might move this little collection just here onto a dedicated shelf just for sort of gadgets and geeky things and keep this current shelf just for the luxury lifestyle products. So we've got things like from Burberry, Gucci, Louis Vuitton uh, and there'll be more added to that in the future. So I also mentioned to you I wanted to give you an update on a couple of my printers. Now they're both brother printers. This is a multifunction mono laser printer, so single colour, black and white. And then over there, I'll show you this one in a short while, this is a full colour uh, again from Brother, multifunction device. Now there are reviews to both of these on the Geek and Noise channel. I'll leave links in the video description so you can check them out. This one here is the MFC L2740DW. Automatic document feeder on the top, scanner bed, touch screen, touch area here with a numeric keypad. We've got the paper exit path here, a really large capacity paper tray, which I've currently got full up with 80 gram paper. And it just prints really fast, it's single color, but it's been so reliable and it prints a really good crisp text and it connects either wired or wirelessly. You can see the little Wi-Fi symbol just here to show I've got it connected wirelessly at the moment. And it's just proving super reliable and I print so much on this printer. I don't need to print color all of the time, but when I do, I've got this one over here. And this is the Brother MFC J5320DW. Again, review is on the main channel. This has got a scanner bed on the top, which I currently don't use. It's also capable of printing A3 in size, so A3 or A4. And the fact it can print A3 is a really big selling point because it's such a compact printer. It's also got a memory card reader on the front and a USB input as well, so you can put a flash drive in there. It's also got a touchscreen, touch sensitive panel on the right, connects wirelessly and wired. And the thing I like about this is it uses really high capacity inks. So you can get standard inks or extra capacity inks on here and they're very reasonably priced. Again, good print quality. So if you want a bit of color in your business documents or maybe you're doing schoolwork, this is really very, very good indeed. And the thing I like about all of the Brother Ranger printers is the consumables are very reasonably priced. One of the main complaints I get from people on Twitter are about the cost of inkjet cartridges and toner cartridges. Well, I found that, it's, especially for these two models that I've repurchased cartridges for, they're just very reasonably priced. They're a, a really good quality, and Brother customer service is fantastic as well. So I'm gonna challenge myself to actually end this part of the video as quick 
quickly as possible. I hope you enjoyed this little update. Normally I don't upload this sort of video to the Geek Vlogs channel. Normally I record off and on throughout the day, but I'm super busy. I've got a couple of videos to edit for the Geek Noise channel and also a couple of client videos that I really need to finish today. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've had a fantastic day wherever you are. Please do hit like, leave me some comments, and I'll see you all again in another video very soon. And no, I didn't speed that up in the edit.